and welcome to how to vids this video is how to use the cafe du chateau espresso coffee maker the first thing that you're going to do is unscrew the bottom base uh, from the top and you're going to notice that there are two pieces here there's a filter that you're going to uh, use in a moment and then you have the base here on the base what you're going to do is you see this little screw here that's going to play a key role uh, in the inside you can see that screw too you're going to fill the water just below that screw right there that i'm pointing to i used filtered water when i filled this up just because it gives your coffee a better taste and as i use the filter water i just double check to make sure that that water line is right underneath that screw that we talked about so you could see it right there now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your filter and you're going to place that on top of the base and you're just going to make sure that filter fits in just so that it's flat and flush against the base and you're going to then get your favorite coffee uh it, this cool uh espresso maker actually comes with a little scooper i'm going to be using two uh, scoops of coffee and this one is actually delicious. I used Cafe Bustelo um, and that link will be in the description for you if you want to try it out. So you don't pack the coffee down. You want to keep it loose but what you can do to even out the coffee is use the back of the spoon and just gently move it around so it's flat and even so when the coffee is dripping through you don't get um liquidy coffee or grains of coffee going through so that's how it's gonna look and now the next step is you're going to then twist the top back on the base carefully <laughs> remember you've filled it up with water you filled it up with coffee so you want to keep it flush on a flat steady surface and as soon as it's done twisting you're then going to place this on your stove. And I recommend using a medium flame that's not going so high and that's not over the amount of your espresso maker. And that's just for um, the purposes of the espresso maker not getting burned on the outside. It just makes it look more clean and it's easier to clean and it's pleasant looking this way so I place this on medium I will say medium to high this is not something you want to walk away from because the water is going to boil fast so if you notice um, I went ahead and I've put it uh, at a medium flame I kept watching it and now you're going to see this you're going to see the actual top of the Cafe du Chateau is gonna start to boil and it's gonna look something like this. All right, you see it's boiling at the top. If you put too much water, this is gonna overflow. Um, but if you've put just enough, it'll start to boil and come out that top and within two minutes, your coffee will be done. I do recommend using a mitt for this. Get your favorite, um, get your favorite coffee cup as you see I have. And remember, this is espresso, so the serving is going to be uh, a little bit less than a regular cup of coffee. But if you want to drink it like a cup of coffee, that's fine too. Uh, but it tastes delicious, and it's going to be a stronger version of a regular cup of coffee. Remember, it's espresso. So there you have it. You made your first cup of coffee in the uh, espresso coffee maker. If you've got any questions, comment below uh, if you've ever made your coffee this way. And if you make it differently, tell me how. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.